Engineering the Perfect Season is brought to you by GMC. A new technology enables young quarterbacks to take multiple reps without taking the hits. This is mental preparation to get better at what you do. A breakthrough in 3D gaming used to train fighter pilots gives a team the winning edge. You have to be on the cutting edge if you want to be in an elite program. They say it takes about 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert, and being a great quarterback is no exception. Now there's a lot of different ways you can get that experience, in the classroom, out on the field, game night, but there's also another way, a new way, virtual reality. In this world, no one gets tired, there's no risk for injury, but the impact on the game is real. Irvine, California, headquarters of Eon Sports, innovators in using immersive 3D technologies to train athletes. Nate Longshore is a quarterback coach and a pioneer in virtual reality training. This is the Oculus, the head mounted display. Go ahead and put this on. Okay. We're gonna put you into the quarterback's position. Is my team doing well? For now, no, uh -oh, but they man. need you to lead them. I played football in high school, then went on to play at Cal in college. I did a little bit of time with the Dolphins, went into coaching, now I coach and have a quarterback training facility. How many guys deep do you see? Uh, one, two. This technology is basically the bridge between game film, whiteboard X's and O's, and the actual perspective you experience on the field. Your players see exactly what it's gonna look like in the game. Now you're gonna read this flat defender, so this guy here. Once you experience the software, once you dive in, it's like this is a game changer. This will be what everybody uses to get better. My name's KJ Costello. I'm a quarterback at Santa Margarita High School. Now, not just any quarterback. You're one of the top recruits right now in the nation. Yes, sir. On a recent Friday night, quarterback KJ Costello, a junior at Santa Margarita High, completed 25 of 34 passes for 411 yards and four touchdowns. He is one of the nation's top recruits, with offers already on the table from Michigan, Stanford, and Florida State, to name a few. He also happens to be one of the players Coach Longshore is training. All right, we're going to use the cube. I want you to get in there, put these on. All right. Take your position. Walk forward a little bit. You know, playing quarterback right experiences everything. How many safeties? To be able to be comfortable out there really changes the way you play. I'm thinking whole shot outside, or if they bail, take the seam. Make sure you hit that whole throw before the safeties can get In the seconds before the ball is snapped, there are hundreds of variables a quarterback must analyze. Simply put, the more defenses you read, the faster you get. <laughs> Athleticism, that's kind of God-given. The ones who really make it far, Peyton Manning's the Tom Brady's are the ones who take mental preparation to just a different level. As a demonstration in an air-conditioned showroom, the technology is impressive. But how does it show up when you put it to work on a high school program facing serious game day pressure? Football coaches are using virtual reality technology to provide instant feedback, helping their players develop more quickly. The GMC Yukon Denali features an innovative suspension that reads the road and reacts more than a thousand times per second, providing feedback for the best ride possible. The GMC Yukon Denali, that's professional grade. Burns High School is ranked second in the state and 88th nationwide. This season brings a unique challenge. They're forced to start a young player with no experience at a key position. Grab your seat, quick, quick, quick. We got a few little things we're gonna do right here. My name is Brian Lane, and I'm the head football coach here for the Burns Rebels. A lot of high expectations here. We won 11 state championships. We want to be the best football program in the country. That's, that's always our goal. Let, let's beat T.L. Hanna, get us right. I'll We're actually going to California to play De La Salle High School, one of the top teams in the country. Hopefully, we're going to come out on top. The main thing this season is we had a kid get it hurt. We got a quarterback that had been playing receiver. Micah Young came in, great athlete, could throw a football, but never started a varsity game. 
how do you get him ready? If you see a guy coming off the edge, we, let's get out of it. The Rebels feel they've done everything they can do on the practice field to bring their QB up to speed. Fortunately, they have forward-thinking coaches who have adopted virtual reality training, making them one of the first high schools in the country to embrace this new technology. Off the field, Micah is drilled every day on his reads. Take a look. You're in the game. You got to recognize the look. What you, what you got? We got a 3-2 box. Okay. You're looking at the defense and you can tell what covers they're in and if they're playing man, if they're playing zone, and it's just, just a great view. We could run knife. We could run Pittsburgh. This is about recognition now. You got to recognize quickly. Open your eyes. When I first get up there, I look and see where my safeties are and seeing if I could run the ball, throw the ball, and just seeing what kind of opportunities they're giving you. What just happened? He just rolled to the middle of the field. What happened to the right side? This system allows you to process information very, very quickly over and over and over. So it's feeding the brain, it's feeding the football IQ. Here comes the blitz. I've got it covered. What play do you want? That is where it happens. You know, it happens in their head. Once they can play fast in their head, they got to play fast on the field. Up on the corner. Burns High made the trip cross country with Micah Young at the helm. They lost to De La Salle, 56 to 28. It wasn't the win they hoped for, but it was a big step in the right direction. Micah, the subturn starter, completed 27 of 43 passes for 223 yards and two touchdowns. Virtual reality training might seem novel today, but it's tough to argue its effectiveness. After all, once you've experienced something in the virtual world, it's that much more familiar in the real world. And as more high schools and colleges adopt the technology, you can bet it's only a matter of time before it's embraced by the pros.